Alright, check it out. We'll be reviewing the high pressure Sigma paint today. This is the B and uh, I've got a B17-2 for the color. So uh, we'll start off with the silver fat. And I'm also going to compare this alongside the skinny, uh, or skinny, the low pressure can just to make sure and kind of see the comparison between the two. And I'll do my best to keep the caps flowing the same, but uh, it's not going to be perfect. So uh, next up, let's do uh, the German outline number one. That gives a real nice solid line. I like that a lot. And we'll do the stock tip for the low pressure can, which is the German outline number four. Next up, we'll do uh, the vegan stock tip for iron lac. Nice consistent line on that one. We'll do the fresh paint skinny. Comes out a little, little fast. A Sabotaz fat. This is the stock tip for these cans. I don't think that circle does justice to it, just how big it is. There we go. So uh, that is definitely a fat cap for you. Uh, these are the NY Skinnies. These did not work on either can. So I assume the same will be with the Rusto Fats. Yep, so both cans do not uh, support those stem caps. But uh, the Iron Lax stem tip works pretty well. And that comes out pretty fast too. Next up we got the beige dot. This was the skinniest line for the low pressure can, so kind of gives a soft line, but uh, good to note. Then we got black on black. That gives a really hollow line with a bit thicker of a inside. Next up we got the pink dot. That's very fat. This cap was actually the gold gold dot. This is the beige dot. They look so similar. So uh, we'll do this down here. That's more of a skinny line than the last one. So I apologize for that. Then we got the gray dot. I'm like spraying the camera over here. We'll do this one up top to the right. And lastly, we got another needle cap, and we'll do this down below with this. Let's see how far away we can get. So that's like two feet again, not too far, but uh, it's good. So I would have to, let's do a side-by-side -side comparison between the pink dot and the sabotage fat to see which one produces a larger line. So this is the sabotage fat. We'll do this one first. And the pink dot. So I think I'm going to have to give it to the pink dot on size wise. But the Sabotage fat, the I guess Sigma fat now, gives a bit more of a solid line. So this is still the pink dot. You can uh, not hold the can, like press it all the way in. And it'll give you a kind of thinner line. But they're so close to one another. I'm not sure uh, which we'll, I'll have to give it to. I think I'm going to give it to the Sabotaz. It seems to give the more consistent line while st still being the same thickness. Despite the spray being a little bit larger th of the, on the pink dot. So uh, there you have it. And as far as a skinny cap for the... Um, for the high pressure can, I would have to give it to probably one of the German outlines or the beige dot. They're all pretty close to one another. And uh, if you're using the high pressure, you probably aren't looking for an overly skinny cap. But uh, this one worked pretty well. And uh, yeah, so probably the beige dot again for this one just because of the consistency of the line. It was nice and uh, full. And yeah, the sabotage fat, the stock tip on the can proved to be the fattest one that I have tried so uh, from this list you can uh, see that it comes with the best tip which is very handy and for the um, 
Sigma Paint A-Line, you can go check out my uh, cap test and review on that as well. I'll link to those in the description. And if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. It's really going to do it for me. You can get both of these cans from OinkArtLTD.com. Real great prices. The high pressure is cheaper at about $5 a can, and the low pressure is a little bit more expensive at 6 So uh, compared to other cans, that's about the same price point as Iron Lac for the high pressure cans and uh, Montana Black Line for the low pressure cans to give you a kind of price comparison. And uh, yeah, you can also pick up fresh paint at uh, Oink Art, which is the most economic paint I have found to date. So uh, yeah. That's my review. If you uh, want to leave me some feedback or a like, that'd be awesome. Peace.